back in April of 2018, uh, that's when I got laid off from my job that I had been at uh, for about three and a half years. Um, and I remember at that time thinking like, all right, you know what? Um, I had been doing the YouTube on the side. I said, you know what? I, I'm going to go for it full time. I'm going to go for it. Uh, and I remember some people who I loved and, and really cared about their opinion telling me, uh, you, you sure you want to do that full time? Like it could possibly maybe work out, but you sure you want to go that route? Why don't you try to get something that's more certain right now? Um, and if I would have listened to them and not bet on myself, then it would have never worked out. So I'm glad I took that chance and took that risk because in the long run, it ended up paying off. And not that my situation is even comparable <laughs> to Lamar Jackson because we talk in a whole another stratosphere when it comes to money. <laughs> it ain't even close. But I can understand the route that he's taken because to a lot of people, on the outside, a lot of people looking at the situation, they probably looking at it like, man, Lamar should have taken that deal. Lamar should have took what the Ravens offered. Lamar should have just accepted the contract that the Ravens put in front of his face. What is he doing? But Lamar choosing to bet on himself, it, it's, it's going to work out in the long run. Now, this morning, whew, this morning, it's like, whoo, that's, that's business. Hey, I'm not mad because it's business. It's business. It's business on both sides, on both Lamar Jackson's side and on the Baltimore Ravens side. And this leak that came out this morning, this ain't from nobody but the Ravens, straight up. And this is to show people like, hey, look, fans, media, analysts, experts, hello, look, we tried and we really tried. Like They've been trying a lot this offseason, but this with Lamar Jackson, they really tried to give him a nice deal. And it, it's not a bad deal at all. And let's, let's just read these reports. Let, let, let's get into it. So we're going to read reports from Jacina Anderson, uh, Chris Mortensen, and maybe a little bit more. First, Jacina Anderson. The Ravens put out an, another improved offer on the table for Lamar Jackson this past week ahead of his self-imposed deadline that includes metrics exceeding, so past, more than uh, Russell Wilson. But did not meet the fully guaranteed construct of Deshaun Watson's deal. So, all the rumors and stuff that we have been hearing about, oh, yeah, Lamar Jackson, he wants a, a more fully guaranteed deal, deal, deal with a lot of guaranteed money on there. That looks to be true. And I mean, it's no surprise. But anyway, let's keep going. Uh, my understanding is there was some frustration that Jackson's declining of Baltimore's offer didn't include more acceptance of the difference in Watson's situation that led to multiple teams bidding for his services. So what that means is that the, the situations were different because with Lamar Jackson, he is on the Baltimore Ravens. And we know there are plenty of teams that would trade for him, but that's not what the situation is right now. The situation right now, he's on the Baltimore Ravens and there, there's no bidding war for him right now. But with Deshaun Watson, since there was a bidding war, that's why they, they, they really trying to make that an outlier. But again, you know, like Lamar ain't going to be looking at that contract like no outlier. I try to tell people that, man. He ain't going to be looking at that Deshaun deal like no outlier. He's going to be saying, hey, I want that to be the new norm. But anyway, um, it says, meanwhile, sources have said to me that Jackson not only understands his full value to the team and th this the business side. To Again, we talked about this, too. Lamar Jackson knows his worth. So she just reiterating stuff that y'all already knew. Lamar Jackson knows his worth. But let's continue. She said, uh, meanwhile, sources have said to me that Jackson not only understands his full value to the team and its marketing. So we not only talking about on the football field, we talking off it too. Yes, you, you know your worth. When you, when you, not only to the team and its marketing. That's big business right there, baby. But also has an awareness of how these contracts should be looking moving forward post the Watson deal for dynamic elite quarterbacks and players like himself in the NFL overall. So Lamar Jackson letting it be known like, hey, I, I know what it's looking like. I'm trying to, again, make that the new norm. But again, this should be nothing new. We talked about this before. But anyway, um, it says, I believe that is important to him, especially as athletes involved in collision sport in comparison to their NBA brethren. 
that's something that we also talked about too. Football is a very physical sport. So why not try to coop as much guaranteed money as you possibly can? Because, and this is not just for Lamar Jackson. This is what we talked about for any single NFL player. When you step on that football field, you never know what's going to happen next. So that's why you try to get all the bread that you possibly can. Anyway, she said, uh, I've heard a lot about this past week and didn't have much time to report on it. So that was a little, little humble brag, little humble flex. Like, hey, I had this sitting on my, on my phone for a little while. I had this information, but I was a little busy, so I couldn't get to it. But anyway, uh, while Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson's contracts didn't carry the Watson trend, should the force continue to revolutionize, revolutionize these football contracts? While there's been a lot of debate and emotion behind the scenes saying he's risking injury, you take the bird in hand. He won't recoup the 26 mil in additional compensation for 2022. I've heard just as fervently, it don't matter what may happen to Lamar Jackson, he will still get paid. I wonder if Justina Anderson been watching the videos. I know we've been saying that this whole time. But anyway, let's keep going. She said, look at Dak Prescott. Look at Kirk Cousins. Whichever route he goes, he will still get his money. I think maybe she had been watching videos. But anyway, uh, even another NFL head coach remarked to me last week, Lamar also knows there will eventually be a market for his services one day and teams will line up to have him. That is the absolute truth. That is the absolute truth. And again, if... if Y'all been listening to stuff we've been saying, then none of this stuff that she's saying comes as a surprise to you uh, at all. None of it. Nothing that she's saying. Because it's business. Now, again, with, with Ravens, it's business. With Lamar Jackson, it's business. With timing, it's business. This timing that the Ravens have this being leaked, it's not coincidental. Uh, because this could have been leaked on Saturday this could have been leaked on Friday this could have been leaked so many other times but hey Ravens are like all right Lamar you turned down our deal all right that's cool now we we're we gonna put that pressure on you because you putting that pressure on us okay cool 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 we're gonna put that pressure on you now we're leaking this on game day you better show up my friend you better show up. You better go out there and do your thing. Because, all right, you want to decline our deal, which was a nice deal. And we're about to get into the details of that deal in a second. But you want to turn down our deal? All right, show us why you deserve more. We ain't leaking this on Friday on the deadline day. We ain't even leaking this the day after. We ain't leaking it on travel day either. We leaking it on the morning of game day. Just so everybody that watches, they watch that much closer. They watch you that much closer. And that much more pressure is put on you. It's business, baby. It's business. So, again, I, I ain't got no problem with what either side is doing. Because either side, is tr they trying to win. Lamar's side trying to win. Raven's side trying to win. Both trying to win. And Lamar like, hey, <laughs> price keeps skyrocketing. Anyway, uh, from Chris Mortensen. Now we get into some more details. Uh, it said, sources, Lamar Jackson rejected a Raven six-year contract offer with 133 mil fully guaranteed at signing, which is more than Russell Wilson's 124 million and Kyler Murray's 103.3 million. So, the, the what was fully guaranteed at signing for Lamar would have been 133 mil. So that is seven mil more. No, excuse me. What well, I'm tripping? That's nine mil more uh, than Kyler Murray. Oh, excuse me. Nine, nine, more, nine mil more than Russell Wilson. 124 mil and. A little less than it's about 32 yeah, about 32 and change mil more than Kyler Murray's so significant amount of guaranteed but it says but well short of the 230 mil fully guaranteed deal that Deshaun Watson got so Lamar Jackson said hey Ravens cut the check cut the check and Ravens said we trying we trying and Lamar looked and said oh okay oh y'all are trying well, I need more guarantees. But anyway, he also said in terms of total money over the six years, Jackson could have earned in excess of 290 mil and his average per year would exceed. So be passed, be more than Russell Wilson's recent deal uh, at 48.5 uh, average per year, which did adjust the Ravens final offer. But the contract was not fully guaranteed as Jackson sought. So 
let's do some math real quick. And this is an easy way to uh, tell how much contracts are worth. Um, by okay, so this it says in excess of 290 mil, and the average would have been more than 48.5. So, so what you do, go to your calculator and put in 290 mil and divide it by six. That is 48.33. So it's like okay. So the deal would have been more than that because it said it, it, it exceeded 48.5, which is what Russell Wilson got. So let's do 291 divided by 6. That's 48.5. So now let's do 292 divided by 6. That's 48.6. So this deal was worth at least 292 mil, at least. So again, the Ravens are trying. They, they, they doing a good job of trying. So we can't, can't be mad at the Ravens for this. Can't be mad at either side. Again, it's business. So you ain't got to be mad at either side. Both sides, they, they trying. So continuing, it said Jackson received active counsel from the NFLPA at the highest levels in the union, advised that based off performance and age, he was justified to demand a fully guaranteed contract if that's what he wanted. Sources added. So NFLPA said, hey, based off of who you are, how old you are and what you've done, you deserve to ask for all the fully guaranteed money that you want to, Lamar. Go do your thing. Anyway, it says Jackson gets 23 mil on the fifth year option. And for now, sources say he is willing to explore the Kirk Cousins strategy. The team can use the franchise tag on Jackson in 2023 and 2024. The union's model projects uh, formula would net him about 100 mil fully guaranteed for two years. So, with that, with the franchise tag, with the exclusive franchise tag, because if they mess around and try to do that, that non-exclusive, uh, that transition tag, he's gone. Even with the franchise tag, I, I told you, I think if, if it gets to the franchise tag, I think it could, it could get ugly. Um, but the franchise tag will give him about 40, right now, based off of contracts right now, franchise tag next year will give him about 45 mil. And franchise tag, as we know, fully guaranteed. Now... If Ravens try to go the franchise tag route, that could force their hand. That, and that could force their hand either way. Because you franchise tag Lamar Jackson, it's like that. And you know, with, with Ravens in the salary cap, they can find a way. If they really want to, they can find a way. Um, but with 45 mil, with the franchise tag, franchise tag fully guaranteed. Again, them fully guaranteed prove it deals. But franchise tag is fully guaranteed. So that all goes on the cap right then, right there. So that will force the Ravens' hand quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because uh, with the franchise tag, with it being fully guaranteed, um, that takes away that 45 mil from your cap. And that's a little fat chunk of change right there, baby. It takes it away. So that will force the Ravens to either be like, all right, we sign him Lamar Jackson to an extension right now. We can't do this franchise tag. Or it will force them to trade him. It would really put that pressure on the Ravens like, boom, like, all right, something got to get done and something got to get done fast. So, again, hopefully it doesn't get to the franchise tag. That, that's all with the franchise tag. I mean, it could work out, but it also could not work out. And then with the franchise tag, that's where holdouts, that, that's where I think the holdouts will start coming into play. But anyway, let's keep going. It says, uh, if Jackson takes that path, absent a new contract, he will be an unrestricted free agent in 2025 and use leverage to get his fully guaranteed contract from the Ravens, which is his preference, or entertain other options, sources added. So, Lamar, well, actually Ravens, they letting it be known like, all right, yeah, hey, this is this what Lamar's doing. This is what he's doing. But anyway, um, union sources frame the Ravens talks with Jackson's as good faith. Although the team included 2.5 mil in annual de-escalator clauses if Jackson did not attend a high percentage of offseason workouts. So they were like, hey, every year you could lose up to 2.5 mil if you don't uh, attend a high percentage or a certain percentage of offseason workouts. So they're like, hey, <laughs> if you don't show up to these offseason work, you try to hold out with, with the new contract, with, with whatever the contract would have been. They're like, hey, then we would have took that 2.5 mil from you every year that you don't do that. So, but the offseason workouts, he's always been there for those. But anyway, um, it says, FYI, fully guaranteed money covers regardless of skill, injury, and salary cap. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. What a morning. What a morning. Um, so, 
Uh, so now we got we got some more details. We got some more details, but this um it doesn't really change much. It doesn't really change much in anything. Uh, it just lets us know how much. Uh, it lets us know more more so what Lamar Jackson is turning down. And again, both sides they again they operate as business. I love it and I respect it from both sides. Again, Lamar Jackson he betting on himself. The Ravens they gave him a nice offer. Gave him a nice offer. And it was not a cheap offer either. <laughs> it wasn't. So that was another. A lot of people's thinking, oh, man, Ravens, they, they probably offered Lamar Jackson something cheap. Well, no, it wasn't cheap. But then at the same time, it just it wasn't it wasn't next to Deshaun Watson. It was higher average per year than Deshaun Watson, but not close to the guarantees. And hey, if you want them guarantees, go for it. Go for it. Now, something else that I thought was funny well, very interesting um, was some some other timing this morning. Is it coincidence? Oh, I don't know, but I uh, who knows? I always say timing is everything, but mm, just something to think about. This morning, the Ravens they leaked this about Lamar Jackson and the contract that they offered to him. Hey, it's showing. Hey, we we offered him a nice deal. Da da da. Cool. All right, no problem. That's business. But also this same morning, it just so happens to come out that oh. This is expected to be Tom Brady's final season. He's expected to retire after this season. I don't know. I don't know. But, hey. <laughs> you tell me. Um, and last but not least, from Ian Rappaport, he said uh, Jackson was offered a deal that eclipsed that of Broncos Russell Wilson in key areas. With Baltimore's attempted extension being more than the 49 mil per year in average in new money that Wilson received on September 1st. The belief is that it also approached or beat Wilson in terms of guaranteed money, with Wilson receiving 68% of his deal guaranteed. It was nearly that of Packers uh, quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who will earn 50 mil per year over the next three years in a highly guaranteed deal struck in March. With regards to guaranteed money, it fell short of the 230 mil fully guaranteed deal that Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson received after Cleveland traded for Watson in March. And it says, in fact, fully guaranteed money is, to believe, is believed to be the heart of the issue. But Jackson is seeking as close to 230 mil as possible, choosing to play on a fifth-year option of his rookie contract until he gets his desired deal. So meanwhile, uh, Ravens owner Steve Bishotti spoke out in the spring, telling a small group of local reporters, I don't know what I don't I don't know that Watson should have been the first guy to get a fully guaranteed contract. To me, that's something that is groundbreaking and it'll make negotiations harder with others. So, yeah, so a bunch of the same stuff that y'all already know. Now, as far as the franchise tag part, it says after the season, he faces the first of two franchise tags with the non exclusive tag equaling twenty nine point seven mil. There's no way that they, they give him that. There, there's no way that they put the non exclusive tag on. Well, actually, there is a way. But if they do that, he's gone. If they do that, he's gone for sure. Now, if they do the exclusive franchise tag, which right now is 45.5 mil, um, but that could change. That could go up. It could go, it could go down. It could change. Probably going to go up a little bit. But, um, yeah, if they do that, then it's still a risk that he's gone. But that they do that non-exclusive, then he's gone for sure. Um, but he said, if there's no deal, Jackson would likely get another tag the following year and then likely face a tag. So he'll, uh, so high, he'll become a free agent. Uh, but there is risk considering only the fifth year option is guaranteed right now. Jackson has always done things his own way. And based on Friday's decisions, he's set to bet on himself. Cool. So just a little extra information right there on Lamar Jackson. So team keep it clean. Uh, hopefully Lamar Jackson, when it comes to him, uh, being with the Ravens. Uh, I'm hoping that in the long run, he doesn't end up telling the Ravens the same thing we tell y'all at the end of these videos. We out.